Hello, my name is Sherry Fitzpatrick, and I'm a professional strawberry dipper. I've chosen my three favorite chocolate coatings to work with today. First is a dark chocolate, has a lot more cocoa in it, and it's preferred by a true chocolaholic, so of course it's my favorite. The second one is a milk chocolate, and it seems to be everybody's favorite. And the third one is a white chocolate, and of course there's no chocolate in the white. It's more of a vanilla coating, but it's perfect for those weird people that don't like chocolate. When you're melting down your chocolate, you want to start out with chocolate chips. Uh, this happened to be a white, sugar-free that I found. You can find them at your favorite grocery store. They come in all flavors. These are butterscotch, so have a little fun. You can also find them in peanut butter. There are three different ways that you might consider melting your chocolate at home. One is the traditional way, which uh, requires a double broiler on your stove and it's a little time consuming. Another way is very easy and it's simply in your microwave. Just take a microwave safe bowl like this one and put the chips in the microwave on defrost, three minute increments until it's smooth and ready for dipping. And the last way is to get one of these really cool new crock pots. They have a triple crock pot. Of course, it was made for gravy stuffing and, and uh, mashed potatoes. But when I saw, I instantly saw milk dark and white. They're really can, easy to use. They're inexpensive. They have a low setting. And uh, they're easy to travel with. I want to give you a little hint today because it seems to be a problem with some dippers out there. If you think you got your chocolate a little too hot because it's thick and it's not adhering to your strawberries, try to add a little bit of um, oil, vegetable oil or canola oil, tablespoon or two, and it might just bring back your chocolate to a nice smooth dipping format. Okay, when choosing your berries, of course you want to find the nice large luscious berries if you can. And you want to make sure that your berries are dry. A strawberry is 75% water and chocolate is made up of a lot of oil. The two don't mix. So when you put your, you hold on to just your green top, put your berry right down into your chocolate, and if you give it a little shake when it's in there, it'll give you a nice clean line at top. And then just have some trays ready um, with some wax paper or some parchment paper so they won't stick to your tray. So that was a white berry. Here I'll dip in the milk. and then my favorite dark. If you tilt your strawberry back a little bit, it'll give you some time to put your strawberry down on your tray without it dripping all over the place. When Mother Nature isn't kind and only offers you small berries, you can still dip with them. Take some fancy toothpicks and uh, just dip on it with a toothpick instead of, uh, you wanna take the greens off so you don't have to feel like you can eat those oops. Look, even berry dippers make mistakes, huh? So you can put them on a toothpick. Another fun thing to do with small berries is uh, dip two of them and actually hook them together, making one larger presentation. And I think this one actually looks like a heart. Another fun design, which I call swizzling, you can do and I'm going to first start by dipping a strawberry in dark chocolate. And then I'm going to take another chocolate flavor like the white. And I'm going to drizzle right over it. And that makes a beautiful berry. You know, dipping's not just about strawberries. There's other great fruits that you can try. Check this out. My Italian girlfriend introduced this to me years ago. Did you know that you can take a cluster of grapes. These happen to be red seedless grapes. And you can dip the entire cluster down into chocolate. And as you shake it off, the chocolate comes around the grapes and you can still see the grapes. You know, I love chocolate dip raisins. And these to me are like chocolate dip raisins before they're chocolate dip raisins. What do you call that? I don't know. But you can just set it on your tray. And after they've dried, you can just pluck them off and eat them right off the vine. You can also do that drizzle design on your grapes. Very, very elegant. Other fruits that you might consider dipping are maraschino cherries, and how about some mandarin orange slices? We all know that orange and chocolate go great together. 
If you don't have a chance to get out to the market to get some fresh produce, I bet you have things around the home that you can try to dip. Check this out. Try some licorice. Look at these amazing marshmallows that I got. They're strawberry flavored. Don't you love it? You can take strawberry marshmallows or even regular ones. How about some cookies or some pretzels? We all know that salty and sweet go great together.